little bit more central so off to the side. And exhale it back position. Your hips are going to thrust forward quickly. And as your hips thrust forward, just as quick, just snap it back down to the bottom of your squat and stand up. So you can transition to the dumbbell back on the ground. Hips forward, back down. And then for 20 seconds, you can do as many of these as you can. The beauty of this is if the weight's super heavy, you'll do less reps, but you'll nice get kind of a nice squat stimulus from it. If it's light, because you gotta go light and quick so many times in a row, it should have a similar effect, but it's still pretty tough. So in a 20 second inter interval, you do as many as you can. 10 seconds will be, you got the rest, and then you're back at it. If you got a notepad or something, please write down how many reps you do. It'd be nice to keep track of that. Um, swim club guides, if you want access to our training app, that you can just email me and I'll send you up. Then right after eight rounds of that, so that takes four minutes, we're going to go right into banded pull apart, which looks like this. Uh, face forward first. So palms up, palms, palms down, doesn't matter. Your arms stay straight. You're just using your back, the back of your shoulders to pull the band across. So you can go a little bit faster, but should be constant tension in behind you. Turn around. And then you can just, I know your resolution's not great, but just do your shoulder blades move and your back just kind of engaged the whole time. So it'll be a totally kind of different kind of feeling than what the squat things were. It'll just burn your back out, which is a good accessory thing to do anyways. Third thing is up-downs, which is um, kind of like an athletic version of a burpee. Athletic in the sense that I want it to be faster. So let's do a couple. So it's a burpee if I push up, and you don't necessarily need to jump either. So just a lot of energy just bringing your feet towards your hands quickly fast as you can, and then obviously you do the lots of numbers so that'll add up quickly. Um, last one, uh, you're doing a Russian twist with a single dumbbell. Uh, you can go pull the dumbbell on its handles and then tap the floor on each side. You can do as many as you can, so you get lots of numbers on this, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever, 20 seconds. She puts her feet down, that makes it a little bit easier. So that is a pretty tricky that to try not to go face the camera. Try not to do this when you're doing these, if your feet are off the ground. Try not to swing your legs. Like, try not to do this, yeah. Do it like you're going everywhere. Try to keep the legs just still. So those four things in a row, that'll take 16 minutes total.